Hey guys, what's going on? This is Eggs, and yeah, let's get into it, boys. 75% win rate, early game, mastering the early game with Shaco. Shall we uh, Shall we get into it? Yeah, let's do it, okay. Now, I'm going to go through this quickly because I don't want this to be a protracted 10-minute video. I want it to be a nice, short, 5-minute video which you guys can take just as much from, okay? So, I'm going to show you guys the room page we're running, okay? There it is right there, okay? So, we've got the experience, we've got attack speed, attack damage, cooldown reduction, and armor. We're running no magic resist here, okay? This is all about being aggressive in the early game with our Ignite. People ask, why do you go refill? This is why, because we're going to invade and we need a refill. We need a pot if we're going to 1v1 their jungler or even like gank a lane after we 3 buff them or anything like like that okay it's very important that we have a refill in there and not a rejuvenation beat we're not gonna our goal is not to rush tier mat it is but that's not our primary goal our primary goal is to make something happen in the early game and come out of it three uh, three three minutes five minutes with a lead okay that's the room page all right now i'm gonna go through these clips okay in every one of these clips we started our blue buff no matter if it was blue side or red side we started our blue buff okay and according to where our enemy jungler starts where the enemy starts that's where we go if they started their blue buff, we go to their red buff. If they started their red buff, we go to their blue buff, if that makes sense. The only difference is that if we're red side, yeah, we go blue, okay? Now, this is if they start red, at uh, their red, okay? So, say, for example, a Lee Sin who starts at their red. If I start at blue, okay, I'm going to go to my red and then his blue because I'll get there quicker, okay? And I'll show you guys one of the clears at the end for that, okay? But... The, uh, the underlying point here is the, the underlying theme or whatever is that we start a blue buff every game and we invade after that depending on where they start, okay? So let's get into it. Let's go through this clip. So first clip, we're going to start at our blue buff here. We get a leash from the top laner, okay? We steal Q, Q immediately and we're going to go to their blue buff. Now, the reason I've d decided to go to their blue buff is because they went they started their red buff, okay? So nidalee, normally high elo players always start at their raptors and clear them first because it gives you more XP. Okay, so I know now that she's probably doing her red buff, which means her blue buff is open. So we go straight there from our blue. We Q over, box, ward over the side to make sure we know she's coming. The funny thing is as well, even if this is warded, which it actually was in the game, because we do it so quickly, yeah, we can quickly do it, get out, and use our Q over the wall and just get out, yeah? And that's no worries. We three dog, three. I just said dog because I just saw dog in the game chat. So we three buff around, we're out, and that's easy. Okay, so that's the blue to blue. Now, what happened here? Okay, so we're we're actually invading here. So we've done our blue buff. We're now invading their red and taking it. Okay, because we know they started uh, at their blue buff. I'm not sure who which jungler it is, but we'll soon find out. So we do their red as quickly as possible. Always want to pot here. Okay, so it's Stelly Berry on Lee Sin. This is a free kill any day of the week, mate. So he comes in now. What I should have done here, I didn't actually have a ward, but if you guys ward over the side there to know if they're coming or not, sometimes they will have that warded and they'll flash smite, they'll flash over the wall and smite it from you and you might get killed because of it. So always like this one here, for example, I've warded over the side, so always be careful of that, okay? So yeah, once again here, this is exactly the same. We started our blue buff, we're invading their red, we take it because we know they started at their blue buff. Hopefully it's not too confusing, but we smite this because at least I'm pretty sure she just flashed into the wall and failed to smite. Yes, this is OCE as well, by the way, so shit like that is uh, a common occurrence, okay? And we kill her there. So these are all clips of just us invading. There's, here's another one. We go from the R blue to their red buff. Normally this is what happens. I don't know why, but most players in OCE just like to start blue buff. Not sure what it is. Like, even though in high elo, like, we haven't really reached challenger yet, but we've versed a couple. Um, and even they start blue buff instead of raptors, which is weird. So we know Zach coming here. He started blue buff because we saw that their bop lane was kind of boom, or that he got a leash there. And we waste his uh, passive and his flash, which is awesome. Much more worth for us. And we uh, we get a slight advantage out of that. Okay. Another one. This is exactly the same. Blue buff to their red buff. So we've got a ward over the side. Let's just see how we do this here. You always want to proc your uh, passive guys on the red buff as much as possible. And you always want to be potting here when you're doing this. Otherwise, you're going to get low. And you it's, it's also like a good idea. I'll just say this right now. It's always a good idea to save your smite if you can. Because you can do their race. You can do their goms. You can take their entire side of uh, their entire red side, yeah, by doing that, okay? So that's why I put the ward over the wall to know if I have to smite it or not in case they know or have it warded, all right? Now, this is the uh, the blue side. Okay, so I know here that she started blue. Someone pings it, and I know she also starts there because they're bot lanes now. This was against a Sejuani. Sejuani is not going to solo red or Raptors. Let me just say that, okay? So this is just about us knowing they're clear and knowing that she she must have started blue, okay? Which gives us an opportunity here to invade our red and take it, and it's up, and we take it nice and easy. We ward over the side. So exactly the same. This is just like a mirror strategy, but this will happen very rarely, I think. I think most junglers, if they're on blue side, 
will start raptors or at their red buff okay that's like 95 percent of the time so her starting blue here is actually very rare so i had to act you know i had to show a bit of expediency to say oh, okay she started blue let's invade our red then otherwise me doing my normal pathing on red side would not have worked so we see her here and we get a kill out at the end of this Diego, this is just about reacting. It's all about reacting to what the other jungler does. And because we have Ignite, because Shaco is pretty shit in this meta, I feel as if you have to make something early on him. Get a lead, whether it's a kill, assist, whether it's through camps or just farm, you have to try and get a lead early, whether it's through, even through summoners, okay? So we get a kill on her here, it's actually quite on skill, so she flashes away, we actually end up dying. But just see the, cr the, the pressure we create. Yeah, so even Echo Flash there, Kate flashes as well here. We just burned three flashes in 20 seconds by invading. All right. Now, this is the clear I was talking to you about, so red side. So you see how my blue buff is gone? That's because we started at blue. We put three boxes at walls, by the way, in every clip here. Okay, hopefully you guys know that strat. Okay, I'm guessing that you guys do or should definitely know it by now because it's been out for a while on Shaka. So we start three boxes at walls. We do our blue buff for this clear, and we go straight to our red buff. Reason why we go to our red buff because we hit level three at two minutes 20. Now, normally they'll be doing their blue buff at around two minutes 30, depending on which jungler it is. But I just like doing Scuttle Crab just because, you know, in case we don't, you know nothing happens we always have that vision for our top or mid laners anyway so we see elise here see what i mean and we're going to queue over the wall even if she's doing it i don't care we've got a level on her we've got ignite we're going to be aggressive as fuck early okay so she was is here so it's always important to like kind of try and save your backstab for smites um and securing buffs i actually didn't do it there but because we've got red buff and our e she's not getting away from this even if she flashes which she does we're still going to kill her with ignite so see the pressure we create, mate. This is how you need to play Shaco, in my opinion, in this meta. This is why I've got a 75% win rate on him, because we just caused havoc in the early game, as you see or hear me raging on uh, stream there. Sorry about that. But yeah, and we end up going two for one. Summoners burn, whatever else. Corky has double buffs, and that's probably the game off that. And this last one is... Which one is this last one? Okay, so... Oh, okay, so we invaded Kazix here, and we we got vision on him, and he was trying to counter invade or some shit like that. He is into the wall. Why? I don't fucking know. He's uh, he's Chinese as well, this guy. We knew him uh, because someone someone had dodged the game before. So, yeah, I was, I was loving this, mate, versing uh, an Inter, pretty much. Anyway, and we get the kill on there. Anyway, guys, that was the the guide for the early game hopefully you guys if you guys if this is too quick just watch it again just even mute it and just watch the clips and see how i play it but hopefully that was informative guys if you guys want to see this actually in action and learn even more i definitely recommend following on twitch or just watching the stream i will be streaming later tonight so come and come and join the band come and join the boys and uh yeah and hopefully this was imp informative always remember just react to what the other jungler isn't doing all right that's the key all right fam I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And follow us on Twitch for more Red Hot gameplays and, and, and live streams. Alright fam, peace.